Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're all having a good day. Um, so I was just watching this uh, video about Susan Boyle, who, if you don't know who she is, um, she is, is possibly the most delightful woman uh, walking the face of the earth today, behind my Nana and my mother and my sister and my girlfriend. Um, but she is just absolutely delightful. And the video was about how at 53 years old, she was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. And she had been tormented all her life by it because she had been misdiagnosed. She had not been diagnosed with Asperger's. She had been diagnosed uh, as having brain damage. Um, nobody was quite sure. And it just tormented her her whole life. So, but amazingly um after she was diagnosed at the age of 53 after a life of torment um she she lost all anxiety about about the issue about about Asperger's it didn't she had been living with Asperger's her whole life um and basically what that tells me is that it wasn't even the Asperger's that was driving her crazy it was the stigma of the label that she had been given um, as brain damaged, as nobody's quite sure what's wrong with her. Um, but it wasn't even the disease disease itself that was causing the issue. It was the stigma. It was the fear of judgment. Um, because if, if the anxiety goes away after she's diagnosed, she still has Asperger's. She's still the exact same person. Now she just knows what is going on with her. Um, but it just made me think about how when we have so many labels in society, um, it just, it naturally creates stigmas. Um, it, it's just it's more things for people to judge by. It's more things to separate people. And there's just no need for it. And I think it, we just need to realize that it just doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter what group somebody's in. It doesn't matter um, uh, what, what's their condition. It's, it's their life. It's not yours to worry about. And you're truly only hurting yourself if you sit there and try to put people into groups and this is who you're going to associate with and this isn't. And I'm only saying this because I have done it myself and it makes life worse, I promise. Because now I don't do that and now I'm open to literally any experience because I'm not shutting myself off from the get-go. Um, so back to Susan Boyle, most delightful woman ever. Um, also in the video, it said at age 53, she had her first boyfriend and it was all, like, so basically she lived a life without romance because she didn't know what her mental condition was and it tormented her. So may, I think if we just stop nitpicking everything so much, kind of just accept that people are who they are, do their best, do your best with what you've got and don't worry about what group you're in, what condition you have. Just try to be in the present moment. Um, if you're in the present moment, I promise you're not able to worry about uh, what's wrong with me what, because you're just focused on your task. And that's, that's we all live in this projected fantasy future that doesn't exist where you, you know, any, literally anything could happen, but when we live in our minds in that place, we open up the door for our brains to go into any, just the worst case scenario. And it's very unhealthy. Um, try to live in the present moment. Let's stop with the labels. And um, I know that was intense, but <sighs> fired up over here, man. We just, life is not as hard difficult as we make it by making people feel different. So how about that?